My name is Steve Salkin. I'm a professor at Western Washington University and director of the Shannon Point Marine Center. All right, we have really excellent facilities, uh, about 27,000 square feet of laboratory facilities, uh, a, an area for housing so that students can stay here during a, the course of a quarter or a summer if they're uh, carrying out research. Uh, we have a fine uh, research vessel fleet that gets students out into the environment uh, and lets them use the, the tools that, that uh, we use out in the field. Uh, our laboratory facilities are excellent in terms of maintaining organisms uh, so that they can be studied and, and so that research can be carried out on them. And also we have extensive uh, analytical uh, facilities here that permit study of geochemistry and biochemistry. Um, those are very important areas in modern marine science and we have a lot of activity in, the, in that area going on and we have uh, excellent facilities for, for the study of all aspects of marine science. Yeah, so my name is Ben Miner, I'm an assistant professor in the biology department. So I teach marine ecology in the spring which is a kind of a field combination lecture class where the students come down for one day a week and spend the day at Shannon Point. Uh, normally part of the day spent um, on a lecture and then we spend some time talking about uh, the labs that we've done in previous weeks and then we normally go out into the field and do a lab for the day. So today we're in Burroughs Bay and we're doing a biodiversity survey where we're doing a transect across um, a depth gradient here. And so we're sending down a net to the bottom, trawling across the bottom, pulling up those organisms, uh, identifying which ones they are, counting them, and then, uh, and then we're gonna look at the patterns to see what type of trends we see along uh, this depth gradient. The ability to take students out into the field and actually do real research, it's invaluable. You absolutely have to have some type of facility um, that's, that provides boats to get out onto the water, that provides the facilities and microscopes when you bring back those organisms to be able to look at them. Um, and in the case of Shannon Point, uh, having uh, the university close to the ocean, Bellingham Bay, is, is nice because we can get to it, but in reality, Bellingham Bay is a very shallow, not very diverse habitat. And so so having the marine lab in Anacortes here, where we can get to these deeper water habitats, just right offshore, is 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 it's really really unique. So only a few uh, universities throughout the country are typically associated with marine labs that that allow students to um, take classes and get out into the field this this easily. This must be the crab bucket. Decorator. Okay, we'll make this the crab. Oh yeah. Where'd you come yeah, from? What else? Is uh, I'm Molly Jackson. I'm a senior at Western Washington University. For me, like, since I'm a marine biology emphasis, like, I haven't been able to do a lot of marine stuff on campus because they don't really have the same tanks and stuff like that. So getting to come down here and go out on the boat like this today has been really exciting because we actually get to go out in the field, which is what I want to do. So it's been a pretty unique experience. Not a lot of colleges have a marine center where you can actually take undergraduate classes. So it's pretty exciting to be able to get out and actually do what I want to do. <laughs> I think the opportunity uh, for undergraduates to study at the Marine Center, uh, combined with the very strong programs on campus in both the biology department and the environmental sciences department, provide um, students with as good an opportunity for the study of marine science as you can find anywhere in the country. 